Hello, and I am back with another video for cloudbackuping.com. And in this video, we're going to have a look at the restore process of Keepit. And we're going to see whether Keepit restores our data as promised, because this is the most important part. When your system broke down, when you lost all your data, you want to get access fast and want to get your data fast from their servers. And we're going to test just that here. And thanks again for joining me in this video. So if you have seen the second video of this video series, then you certainly know that we have already backed up one gigabyte in files. This is our standardized test folder we prepared for all the all the backup providers I tested on cloudbackuping.com. And now we want to restore everything. And I got to say that keep it really keeps it very simple. You have the option to view the latest backups. So there is a history of 60 back or 60 days. It's uh, that your backups are going to be stored and you have the option to restore the latest backup. So you've got to restore every files or you can just choose individual files. So if you're really in a hurry and need this picture or need this video file, you know that you have in your backup stack. You can just go and select that and download that as quickly as possible when you want to continue working on that and your system failed or whatever. So these are the options. And then with a click on backup everything, it's going to prepare the file list of our backed up files. And here we can have a little overview of what is actually that we've backed up and see whether everything is there and backed up correctly. And you can dig deeper into the file structure and see whether your data is actually there, whether um, all the files that we've backed up are there on their servers. And at the last step, and you can well go into detail here and unselect or, or, or reselect files that you want to back up. And on the last step, we're going to change the destination. Right now, it is set on the desktop, but we want to uh, go into a dedicated restore location and we want to call that restore location keep it restore that we know that this is a restore that we did with keep it so you can either do that here or or go back into the restore tab and there at the bottom you see destination and then you can change the destination and also you can add a dedicated folder which you want to do so first we got to uh, go into cloud backuping when we have saved everything and here we just want to have a new folder called keep it restore and with a click on OK, you're going to confirm your changes. And with a click on restore latest, you are initiating basically the backup process. And I was kind of surprised because the restore process took very long and almost took as long as the backup. Although I'm here sitting behind a very fast download connection, so it really has to do with their with their servers. And when you lost your data, you really want your data back fast. And this is actually what people tend to dislike here on Keep It. And this is what they really should improve. And I really got to wait for a couple of hours to get all my data back to get one gigabyte back on my PC. And the estimated time it said well less than a minute but it took really really long in fact to restore everything so um there's quite a lot of room of improvement here but let's see if uh it actually restored our data successfully because the most important part is that we can access our data that we can see our data that that we have saved on their servers you can click on open destination and then you are uh, being directed to the folder that you chose as a restore location. And in our case, this was um, in the folder cloud backuping and keep it restore. And we can see that everything is backed up successfully with a file structure intact. And now we just got to look at the individual files, whether everything is there. And yes, everything is there with the correct file sizes as well. So the backup was successful. And I think all in all, um, it was quite smooth. It was easy to use. And if you're not an advanced user that wants a lot of backup features and scheduling features, keep it might be an option for you. So if you like this video, Please go ahead and vote for it on YouTube and leave a comment. I would be really happy to hear your thoughts. Also, I hope to see you in the next videos. Bye bye.